Hi, my name is Kyle. Um, this is discussion form three for writing for adults. Um, this video is regarding 10 ways to have a better conversation by Headley. Um, overall, I thought the video was pretty interesting. It does bring up a lot of good points and a lot of good points you can definitely apply it to writing. And I think one of the ways of applying to writing is her idea of having a conversation um, it doesn't always have to be like it's not just having a conversation right in front of you but it can also be applied by writing by it because you're the reader and the writer the reader and the writer are basically having a conversation with each other in its own way um so you know the, the how she kind of talks about it is to like um some of her point that she brings up is like uh you know going with the flow um, you know, not adding too many details, um, they just want to, you know, talk about how you feel, um, they just want to get to know you, um, or having a purpose, so I think those, in those ways, you can definitely apply that to writing, um, some of the points that she does bring out that could help, uh, reach an audience would be, um, you know, one, listening or reading, in this case, um, to the other side in another in another perspective and not just that but when you listen listening what she talks about is like maybe pick up some interesting vocabulary words that they use maybe you can use that um but like she said when you open your mouth you're not learning anything or buddha said that or whatever i thought that was kind of a, it's a small thing but something i kind of just i thought of um one thing she does surprise me when I first, in the very beginning, this, this this video is made in 2016. Talk about, no one, it's a heated discussion, talking about climate change and anti-vaccine. That's surprisingly here considering how relevant that is today. Like, way more relevant now than it was five years ago. Anyways. Um, but I, I don't agree with her on some things. I, she says that great conversations can happen with anyone. I don't agree with that. Because she says, in her experience, she can have great conversations even when she disagrees with somebody on a personal level. Uh, especially considering this last few years, I'd have to... T I don't think you can have a great conversation with, with like, on anyone. It really depends on how well the other person is also going to listen as well. Not It can't be just one-sided. It can't be one me just listening to everything. Or, um, or if I respond, I really don't want them to feel attacked or I don't want them to insult me. That's just how it's always been. Like they call me stupid if I bring up another way of looking at it. Um, so I think respect has to go both ways. And she fails to talk about respect a lot. And I think that's extremely important, um, especially in today's age so respect is a huge thing um so yeah maybe it's not a great conversation but it could be constructive conversation i think there might be a difference there i think to have a great conversation um at least in my experience you know i, I think you have to have um uh, similar values i think or um you have to have to have a great conversation you gotta have like maybe a shared goal um, you know, talk about your experiences and I share a goal or something, or, um, yeah, that kind of thing. But it just, the respect and there's just different, different kinds of conversations to have. Um, I, her comments on 100, when kids text 100 times a day, and her sample size is only 10,000, and I'm just curious, like, what age, because I just really genuinely curious and also where because that definitely matters because some teacher in Atlantic she's talking about um says what is more important than in the 21st century to have confident coherent conversations um uh, I don't think that's the most important thing because time as time goes on technology increases and it's just how you utilize technology obviously not all of it's good but not all of it's bad. And I think there's a lot of good ways. I think, you know, people have an incredible way to connect, not with just one person, but like thousands of people. 
you know, for example, streamers, I mean, you can't deny it. They are able to connect with, like, literally thousands of viewers at once. Um, and they have conversations back and forth. And I think that's a pretty cool way to um, get a community involved and get more things done, maybe. Or, um, I don't know. I just think it's really interesting because, you know, not even blogging. There's so much blogging going on. There's so much more writing. There's so much... Books are still being wrote. Like, it's all... It's just a different age, and so that's kind of where I disagree with on that part. But overall, I thought that was a really good video. Thanks.